This is higher homework number five, and we're looking at question nine. Find the stationary points on the curve, y is equal to x cubed plus two all over x, and determine their nature. So it looks like um, a bit of a differentiation question. For stationary points, I'll set the, uh, the gradient, or the um, dy by dx, equal to zero. And from there, I'd be able to work out my x values. When I get my x values, I'll plug them back in here and find the y values. So that gives me my coordinates. Create a nature table and then make a statement at the end. So that's really what I'm looking to do for this question here. Right, let's get started. So this here is in a form where I can't differentiate it immediately. So I'm going to have to prepare that. So let's start with y is equal to x cubed plus 2 all over x. So remember when we've got something like this with uh, a fraction, I'm going to split the fraction and the denominator is going to be x and x in each case. Okay, so x cubed all over x plus 2 all over x. So that's the first move that I've done. I'll then use my indices work to sort this out so I can get it into a form where I can differentiate because I can't differentiate when x's are on the bottom or on the denominator. So let's work that out. So that's going to be x squared, and that's going to be plus 2x to the minus 1. So that's me just worked out what y is equal to. I've not differentiated anything yet. I've just prepared it for differentiating. Let's go ahead and differentiate now. So dy by dx is going to be equal to 2x. 2 times 1 is 2, reduced to power by 1. That's going to be minus 2x to the minus 2. So that's it differentiated. What I'll do is I'll rewrite that as a, as the, a positive power. So let's have a look at that. dy by dx is going to be equal to 2x. That's going to be minus. Remember, the only thing that's going to move to the denominator is the x to the, the minus 2, which becomes a positive. So there's this 2x squared positive. OK? Right, so, so what I'm going to do for stationary points, remember what we're saying for stationary points? Um, for a stationary point, where we're looking at the gradient being equal to zero. So if I had a curve that, uh, that turned like that there, I know that the gradient at that point there, the gradient is equal to zero. So I'm then going to find out my x values for that point there, where it actually turns. So when the gradient equals zero. So this here is, can, can be looked at as a gradient, whoops, gradient formula. Okay, so if that's a gradient formula, um, then I can use that to work it out. So I'm going to set the gradient dy by dx equal to zero. So for stationary points, for stationary points, dy by dx, the gradient basically equals zero. So I'll put a zero in at this side. 2x minus 2 all over x squared. And then from there, I just need to try and solve this. To remove this fraction here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by x squared. And what that will do is it will get rid of that fraction from the bottom. So 0 times x squared is still going to be 0. 2x times x squared will give me 2x cubed. And what I'll have is, if I multiply this here by x squared, the x squared will cancel out, just leaving me with a minus 2. That's there. OK, so what I can then do is I could take out a common factor in here. So I take out 2 as a common factor. I've got x cubed minus 1. So I know that 2 doesn't equal 0. So what I'll have is x cubed minus 1 equals 0. And then from there, I can say that x cubed is equal to 1. So x is going to be equal to the cubed root of 1, which equals 1. So that's 1 times 1 times 1 will give me a positive 1. OK? So that's my x value. So remember what I said is once I find my x value, I'm going to substitute the 1 back into the y equals formula. And what that will do is that will help me get my y coordinate and that should give me my uh, stationary point that I'm going to be working out. OK, so what we'll do is we'll um, just say that for the y value, substitute x is equal to 1 and only have one value, x is equal to 1, into 
the original y equals equation. So y is equal to x cubed plus 2 all over x. So if I substitute it in, what I've got is I've got 1 cubed plus 2 all over 1. And what that should give me for my y coordinate, it will give me, that's 1 plus 2, it's going to give me 3. 3 divided by 1 is just 3. So what I've got is my coordinate is going to be 1, 3. So that's my stationary point. 1, 3. That's the coordinate. Right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a nature table. Right, so let's do that because I need to know which way does this uh, actually turn. What's the shape of this graph? I've only got one stationary point, and the one stationary point is the x value, which is going to be 1. And I'm going to write this kind of halfway along this line. I'm then going to think about um, a number that's going to be coming along in that direction there so that I can work out uh, some values and a number that's going away from 1 so let's just use a, a 2 in here okay and why don't we just use uh, something like minus 1 in there we could use the fraction and that's my values of x that I'm going to choose and I want to know what shape the graph is in here I'm going to use the formula dy by dx and what we'll go for is we'll just use this one here so I've got 2x minus 2 all over x squared. So that's my dy by dx, or my gradient formula. If I'm using that, I can tell the slope of the curve. Right then, so I already know that for uh, x equals 1, well, I worked that out by saying that the gradient equals 0, so the gradient equals 0 at that point. And if I wanted to try it, I could put a 1 in here, and that would work out for me as well, because that would be 2. Take away 2 gives me 0. Right, let's put a 2 in, OK? And I'll show you the calculation as well. So it'll be 2, and I'll substitute that 2 into where the x is, minus 2, all over 2 going in where that x is there. That's squared. Right, so what I've got here is I've got uh, 4 minus, and that's going to be 2 over 4, which gives me a half. So that's going to be an answer of uh, 3 and a half. And that's going to be positive. So that's positive here. And that's really what I'm interested in. Is it positive or is it negative? Right, if I substitute a negative 1 into this here, so let's do the calculation as well. So 2 times minus 1, and I've got minus 2 times, and that's going to be minus 1 squared, that's there. That's going to give me minus 2, 2 times minus 1, and that's going to give me a positive 1 there, so that's going to be minus 2. 2 that comes out, so my answer from this one here is going to be minus 4. So that's going to be a negative value. So that's negative 0 and then a positive, okay? Right, so, so that's what I've done here. All I was working out was the gradient of that graph. And what that tells me is that tells me what the shape of the graph is like. So the shape of the graph is negative, so a negative gradient will be going down like that. 0, flat gradient, and a gradient that's positive will be going from left to right upwards from there. Okay, so this point here turns at the bottom, so it's a, a minimum turning point. So the curve has a minimum turning point at, and the coordinates I'm going to put in, will be the coordinate where that match up with 1 and 3, so 1 and 3. So that would be the question complete. So I found the stationary point, well there's only one, it's 1, 3, and what I've done is I've determined the nature, it's a minimum turning point at that point. Ok then, let's see where we're going to get marks, we're going to go for 5 marks, so I'll get the first mark for, uh, I'm going to go for preparing this correctly so that I can differentiate. Go for the next one for differentiating correctly. Setting it equal to zero, so for stationary points equal to zero, or showing this part here, zero, all the way down. I'll get one mark for, I'm going to go for one mark for getting x equals one, and my final mark, it's a big one, for all of this here, 
making sure that the, the, the nature table is correct and a, a simple statement based on what you've found there. So that's going to be out of five marks. And that's the homework complete.